Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Thanks for joining me for another video. I just thought I'd show you guys a couple party cars that I got. I got probably six or so. Start out with the Backwoods Bomb. This is the first one I ever bought. I was a little disappointed when I first got it. Um, because it's just when they started the new paint process. I'm pretty sure it's the first party car that uh, received the process. And if you look, you can see a lot of pitting and just uh, unevenness and stuff like that from the lack of hand polishing that they do with uh, that they did with the normal cars change the paint process you can kind of see it right there other than that it's pretty cool got the uh, front light tampos going on painted side markers bumper lights all that good stuff pretty good shape the white top looks kind of funny on it but I don't know what other color you'd put on it I think any color would look funny with the pink let's roll it along there second car I got was the uh, Hall of Flame. It's kind of an off red. It's I guess I'd call it maroon. It's definitely the darkest party car that I'm aware of. Going on. There's the back end. It doesn't have a license plate like most other cars do. Most cars have a license plate. This one does not. Roll it around. Just has matching tampos. There's the front. Got the headlights painted up. Black grill going on. Here's the base for you guys. Uh, flame 2009. 2009 was here as copywritten. I believe it was from a 2013 or 12 convention. I'm not sure. Here's the original Hall of Flame released in 2009. If you guys want to uh, check them out, kind of prefer. Yeah, kind of prefer. Black, can't even talk. For comparison, pretty much the exact same tempo. The Hot Wheels logo is a little bigger on this one. And it doesn't have the Redline Club logo on the back. Oh, second time I dropped it. Look at that. At least it was on carpet this time. Everything in the back's the same. Kind of hard to tell with it being in the blister. Everything's painted up. Take a look at the front here. Yeah, everything's exactly the same. Engine's painted a different color chrome. Probably have a different paint on the base. Kind of looks like a different kind of chrome, but it could just be the blister, who knows. Anyway, moving on, we got the classic cord. There's a finish for you. Not quite flawless, but pretty close. Pop tops right off. You want to roll around with your roof down. Hood opens up. I'll get you guys a little taste of the engine right there a little close up not bad looking see 06 nationals that's what the license plate says anyway this one almost has an orange finish when you look at it in the light there's a base copyright 1970 classic core 2004 let's put the top back on and roll her on Got an Evil Weevil from a local collector, like a Hot Wheels swap meet. He was trying to sell it for a while, so you know you put it in the box, take it to the swap meet, not sell it, bring it back, bring it back out. All the handling, it's got some scuffage going on from moving around in the baggie. But that's alright. Got the number four on it. Got the logo on the back. Didn't say where it's from, but it says party car. So it's a nice piece, blue tinted window. Has the uh, opening and closing sunroof. Some have sunroofs, some don't. Here's the uh, Real Riders version to compare it to. Can't remember what series this is from. But you can see the difference in the pink. It's definitely a deeper pink. Uh, different, different kind of chrome on the engine. Definitely a knobbier looking. It doesn't have the sunroof. There they are side by side. One thing I never understood about this casting, especially this one, you know it's got the big off-road tires. Why they had to put this big giant block underneath the whole thing. Seems to me they can maybe redo it and tool it a little better. I'm not sure, but it's supposed to be off-roading and literally it has almost no ground clearance down here. At least toward the bottom. So, I don't know, it just looks a little funny. I know somebody else has caught it too. Look at that. It just doesn't belong. Anyway, traded uh, 
RLC Datsun that came out for two more party cars. Got the heavy Chevy going on. This is just known as the Chevy Camaro. Let's see here. This one is from the 19th Annual Collectors Nationals. Got the Red Line Club logo in the back of it. Painted tail lights. Got the SS sitting there. What does that license plate say here? No, I can't make it out. Maybe on the computer you can get it. Printing's too small to see on my camera. Anyway, going on. Engine's a little loose, but no problem. Take a look at the base. This one says 1969. It's been around a while. Move around out, and last but not least, I got a shiny little Roger Dodger here. It's a real light, light style pink. Kind of the same tone as the uh, Evil Weevil. Little scuffage on the roof, nothing too bad. Pretty sharp looking car. It's got the logo right there. There you see it, Roger Dodger with the uh, Redline Club logo. Some painted headlights and taillights. Big old beefy motor sticking out of there. And I have no idea what this stands for. This one is from, let's see here, the 7th Annual Collectors National, Dearborn, Michigan. HLT finale. I don't know. Don't know what it stands for, but it doesn't matter to me. I got the car. 1970. Base. Get on center here. And that's about it. I got a 442 coming and keep on getting the party cars. Kind of like to start collecting them and make a display case. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.